Inside Moorhead State Basketball is brought to you by Reno's Roadhouse, Go Wild, Go West, Go Reno's, Hinton Mills, serving farmers since 1918, The Eagle Auto Group, your hometown dealer, Fazoli's of Moorhead, Fast, Fresh Italian, First National Bank, a tradition of value and convenience. Kentucky Welding Institute, experience that's built, not bought. West Liberty Veterinary Clinic, serving the hills since 1963. Megan McCoy Real Estate Group, Central Kentucky's top producing realtor. U.S. Bank, all of us serving you. Dashboard Stereo, you're never too old, it's never too loud. Big Four Lumber, Ace Hardware, The Helpful Place, Wendy's of Moorhead, Fresh, Never Frozen, Eagle Finance, Loans Made Easy, Payments Made Affordable, Joshua Trent Custom Designs, Looking to Build? Let us design your house plans. The Citizens Bank, the home of totally free checking, the Jack Rowe Insurance Agency and Auto Owners Insurance, Insurance the Right Way, the Human Way, St. Clair Healthcare, Amazing Medicine, close to home. Commercial Bank of West Liberty, a source of strength for over 100 years. Giovanni's of Moorhead, order online at giovannispizzapower.com. Total Care Pharmacy, dispensing care one patient at a time. Commonwealth Chiropractic, treating everyone like family. And by Standifer Builders Paving and Sealing, quality work at affordable prices. That's how we roll. And welcome in to this edition of Inside Moorhead State Basketball. As always, alongside the Eagle head basketball coach, Preston Spradlin, I'm David Patrick. And Preston, you are well on your way to a fourth consecutive 20-win season. Obviously, never been done in program history. And with that 20-win season would come uh, an amazing individual milestone as Drew Thelwell, your senior point guard, would also become the all-time winningest player in program history. And it couldn't happen to a better kid. No, you're exactly right. And uh, I hope throughout the show, um, over the last four years, we've been able to kind of highlight the character that Drew has because uh, it's a direct correlation to what kind of player he is. Uh, what kind of teams he's been on and what kind of program that we have and uh, no one more deserving than him you know we say it all the time you know all Drew knows in, in his experience in college basketball is that you, you win 20 some games and you compete for a championship um, and what goes into that each and every day being an everyday guy having highly competitive uh, practices elite focus and then you know a guy who takes care of business off the court as well you know Drew's been a, a Dean's List member, a President's List member. He's been all-conference academic, preseason all-OVC, first team this year. And, um, you know, it, again, it all goes back to, you know, the philosophy that we have. Good people become great players, and he's the epitome of that. Earlier this season, Drew broke the single game assist record with 19 against Alice Lloyd and Preston. Right now, he's 11th in the country in assist. Yeah, and that, that's pretty special. Um, you know, last week he was sixth in the nation. We only had the one game last week, so that's probably got a little bit to do with it. So over the next five weeks, uh, getting our full slate of 31 games in, hopefully if he continues on this path, he's going to be in a great spot because I know that's something that's really important to him. Um, but it, it's important to our team and a part of our success. And it just, again, it speaks to the selflessness and the character and the IQ of a player like Drew. Speaking of individual accomplishments in the last game versus Western Illinois, the victory here at Johnson Arena, Jordan Lathan, better known to his friends and coaches and teammates as J2, and also Khalil Thomas, both reached a 1,000 career point mark not only in the same game, but also the same half and basically back to back. Yeah, you know, pretty special. I think going into the game, Khalil was four points away. J2 was eight points away. Um, you know, and, and again, we, we talk about the transfer portal. Everybody wants to, you know, uh, talk about the negatives of that. You know, we're going to focus on the positives of it. And it gives you opportunities to bring guys like J2 and Khalil here um, to be a part of the program, to experience something they've never done before and to accomplish great uh, individual milestones as we chase great team milestones. And Preston, how about Riley Minix? He is on the Lou Henson Award watch list for the best mid-major player in college basketball. 
Yep, and if he keeps this up, you know, he's going to continue to chip away and, and stay more on the watch list. I think he's going to get on the on the finals list. Um, but, you know, he, he's, a, he's, he's leading the nation in a couple other categories as well. I think right now in terms of overall double-doubles, he's 20th in the nation. Um, and, and you know that's that's quite a, a you know quite a, a some company to be in with some elite players throughout the country. Stay with us when we come back. The Eagles back on the road with a Thursday date at Tennessee State, and then on to Tennessee Tech on Saturday. Highlights of both games are straight ahead on Inside Morehead State Basketball. At First National Bank, we believe in banking made easy. Whether it's a checking or savings account or a loan for a home or auto, First National Bank is a place for you. First National Bank is proud to be part of this community and a sponsor of this show. Good luck to Coach Bradlin and his staff on their season. Banking at First National is as easy as one, two, three. Let us assist you with all your banking needs. First National Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. My great-grandfather opened the first Tenton store in 1918, and our family opened our first feed mill in the mid-1950s. We now have six locations and a wide range of products, including feed, seed, fertilizer, crop protection, animal health products, fencing materials, and pet food. Though times have changed, our commitment to providing you with the highest quality products and knowledgeable customer service is as strong as ever. I'm Adam Hinton, inviting you to stop in and see for yourself. Hinton Mills, serving farmers since 1918. Eagle Game Highlights are sponsored by the Megan McCoy Real Estate Group, Central Kentucky's top producing realtor. The Moorhead State Eagles with a full game lead setting alone atop the OVC standings, taking on Tennessee State at the Gentry Center. Right out of the gate, the Eagles turning defense into offense. Riley Minix with the steal, ahead to Jordan Lathan for the first two points of the game. In the half-court set, Drew Thelwell, the assist to Minix. He knocks down the deep three from the left wing, Eagles up 6-3. to three. Down a point now, it's Thelwell doing it himself from the top of the key. Puts down the dribble, finds a crease, and scores the scoop layup off the glass. Another assist for Thelwell, the throwback to Lathan. The quick release three is good. MSU starting to gain some separation, up six at the 940 mark. And then Lathan drives the ball off the left block, takes the contact, and hits the impossible shot off the glass. Eagles up nine. MSU then pushes the lead to double figures. Lathan to Thelwell in transition, and the beautiful bounce pass to Minix for the finish. One of Drew's game high seven assists. Tennessee State goes zone late in the half, but Thelwell pulls the trigger from deep. Eagles up 35 to 22 at the break. Second half, Lathan picks up where he left off, running off the triple screen and hits the three pointer. Eagles up 14. Lathan would finish with a game high 22. Next possession, Khalil Thomas gets some daylight thanks to the screen and knocks down a three-pointer of his own. Then it's Zach Iaimi getting his first start of the season with the injury to Deontay Miles, scores the basket and one, and he wasn't done. Iaimi off the missed free throw, Minix goes to Lathan, he misfires on the three, but Iaimi fights for the rebound and scores off the glass he had five big points in 14 minutes. The Eagles starting to pull away. Thomas, his second three ball on the night is good. And then the finishing touches from Eddie Ricks the third, driving the lane and throws down the tomahawk slam. Eagles extend the advantage to 18 and then Ricks on the receiving end of yet another Thelwell assist. Eddie with a two-handed flush. Moorhead State improving to 17 and five on the season, eight and one in the OVC. Minix a double-double, 22 points and 10 boards. Eagles with an impressive 68 to 49 win over Tennessee State.
Dashboard Stereo is the best location for all of your car and truck accessory needs. Dashboard specializes in remote starts and WeatherTech products, plus computer and phone repair. Dashboard is the oldest kicker dealer in the United States. Remember, you're never too old. It's never too loud. Hi, I'm Jimmy Watson, owner of Dashboard Stereo. We are proud supporters of Preston Spradlin and Moorhead State Basketball. Go, Go Eagles. Eagles! At the Citizens Bank, we have totally free checking and a free gift. When you combine totally free checking with the best people and the best service, do you know what you get? The best bank. Being the best bank makes it easy for our customers to refer their friends and family to bank with the best too. Every referral gets another free gift. So come bank with the best, the Citizens Bank, home of totally free checking and a free gift. Member FDIC. This segment of Inside Moorhead State Basketball is sponsored by St. Clair Healthcare, amazing medicine close to home. The Golden Eagles of Tennessee Tech playing host to number one Moorhead State, the eight and one Eagles squad, 15 and two in their last 17 games. Again, first place in the Ohio Valley Conference. Shot clock winding down, Lathan missed it. Strong offensive board though, Minix goes to the basket and unwraps the scoring. Eight to shoot. Down low, Minix, the patience pays off. He's got all four. Aimi. The deep three, Lathan spins it on home. The game's first triple. All Moorhead in the early stages. Eddie Ricks the third, five to shoot. The rookie. Lathan's deep three on target. Lathan finds Thelwell now. Minix three, count it. Boy, it's, it's just unselfish right there. Stays 22 15. Now the three, corner, knocked down. It's Thomas. Davis on the drive, that's blocked. There's that long, long reach of Ricks right there. Oh, the pass, Thelwell, and Minix throws it down. Ricks the third thought about it, now only five seconds to shoot. Minix turn the corner, lays it in. Impressive finish, Riley Minix. Minix going on wood. Lathan into the paint, dishes down low, the slam by Aimi. Jordan Lathan fading, can't convert. Offensive board, Aimi kept it alive. Aimi catches and scores. That's your reward for keeping that ball alive. They give you a little dish and you get a bunny. Thelwell throwing it up, mm. Minix on the other end. That play's been around since 19 whatever. Five minutes left. Thelwell, he's open. Ricks the third and counted from deep. What a pass and a finish. Ricks the third on the feed from Minix. Thelwell. Minix caught it. Wood comes over. Minix, he finished somehow, some way. Again, Moorhead looks to Minix. Deep three, Thelwell. Big time shot, Drew Thelwell. Mm, that's huge right there. Thelwell. 
The pass, a nifty one, and the finish with the foul. Eddie Ricks, the third. Moorhead State, nine and one in OVC play. Eagles complete the season sweep of Tennessee Tech. Today winning 67 to 60. Giovanni's Pizza is a favorite stop for Eagle basketball fans before or after the game. Come taste for yourself. Delicious pizza, pasta, subs, salads, wings, and much more at the perfect location, 700 East Main Street, across from the Academic Athletic Center. MSU head coach Preston Spradlin and his staff enjoy game day meals with us. Dine in for great customer service or order online at Giovanni's Pizza Power .com. Basketball with Bree is sponsored by U.S. Bank. All of us serving you. Welcome back to another edition of Basketball with Bree. My name is Brianna Russo, and today I am joined by a first year guard here at Moorhead State, Eddie Ricks. Eddie, I know that you were ranked number one in the state of Tennessee your senior year of high school. And Coach P and the coaching staff all recruited you really hard to come here to Moorhead State. What made you make that decision to come here and be a part of the Eagle family? Um, ever since I was little, I was really big on relationships. So for, the, for all the coaching staff to call me each and every other, each day, just praising how much they want me, want me here. So that kind of tied into me committing here for sure. But um, yeah, like I said, them, them calling me all the time just kind of made me feel like, made me feel wanted. And I wanted to go somewhere where I wanted to be wanted. So that's played a big role in me committing here. Definitely. Eddie, you've already made a big impact as a freshman here at Moorhead, putting up a lot of playing time. And that's not easy to do your first year. Talk about the transition from high school to playing Division One basketball. Um, during the summer, it was, it was hard because Obviously, you come in each and every day thinking, like, you have all this skill and stuff like that. But as you get to the next level, you got to just learn how to play your role. And so that's kind of what I've done here. Uh, obviously, I play behind Raleigh Minnick. So just for me to guard him each and every day to get better at my craft and try to learn from him, uh, it's definitely, definitely good. So, Eddie, you've already had several dunks this season, but I think we all know the best one and the most exciting was that dunk right before halftime at Indiana. Five seconds, four seconds, Eddie down the floor, Catahawk jam, yeah! Talk about that feeling, the excitement, how you felt at that moment. Uh, it felt good, so with me, I'm not really good with controlling my emotions, so I don't know <laughs> if you've seen, but after the, after the dunk, it was, it was just so hard to like react, because I, I didn't want to smile, I didn't want to yell, because I'm not the type of person, but it felt good. Uh, to go down there and finish the half. A great first half, so to finish with a dunk like that, I kinda, it felt good. Definitely felt good to play. It felt good to dunk like that in front of, I don't know how many people were there, like thousands. So Eddie, you are Eddie Ricks the third. Talk about your family and where your name historically has come from. Uh, so my grandpa, he's the first, uh, lives out in Fairview Heights, Illinois, kinda 20 minutes from SIUE, uh, he was, he traveled a lot, um, but then he gave his name to my father, which my father gave his name to him. Ashi, shout out to my father today, he's 40. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm glad and blessed to, to carry uh, for my grandpa and my dad to give, you, give me their name. Uh, the plan is, hopefully, carry it down again. Mm -hmm. So I'm blessed, like I said, to have the name of Eddie Ricks and hopefully I can bring it down again. Yeah. <laughs> Eddie, thank you so much for joining me on the show today. We are all so proud of you. You have been a star on the court so far, and we can't wait to see more of what's to come. And stay tuned because Coach P and DP will be right back on Inside Moorhead State Basketball.
Nick Four Lumber Ace Hardware was founded by Philip Lewis nearly 45 years ago and is still locally owned and operated by the Lewis family. Our customers' needs have always come first, meaning we continue to enhance and expand our inventory. Big Four is a staple of the Moorhead and Round County community, and we take great pride in giving back. We would like to thank our valued customers for your loyalty and trust, and pledge to continue supplying the best quality service by our hometown employees. The moment you walk through the door, you'll know why we are Ace, the helpful place. That's Big Four Lumber, Ace Hardware, 1470 Flemingsburg Road in Moorhead, Kentucky. These days, banking like basketball moves at a fast pace. At Commercial Bank, that same fast pace comes to life with our lenders. We're fast with local loan decisions. Bankers who you know and who know you. Simply put, it's better banking. Commercial Bank, where friendliness prevails. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. This segment of Inside Moorhead State Basketball is sponsored by Fazoli's of Moorhead. Fast, fresh, Italian. And welcome back to Inside Moorhead State Basketball. Preston, everyone in the state knows or, or should know by now that over the last four years, Moorhead State is the winningest Division I college basketball program in Kentucky. And right now in the national net rankings, you are 103 and you were as high as in the 90s. We were in 95 a couple weeks ago prior to that SIUE loss and so uh, slowly gaining on it. Hopefully we continue to take care of business and people say, well, what is the, what's the point of the net ranking? Well, it's, it's important for postseason. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of the accolades and things we've talked about and continue to talk about on the show are, are for the regular season. Um, but we're all striving for that postseason, you know, and so for us, you know, we, you, you want to win uh, the OVC tournament and the higher your net is, the better chance or the higher seed that you'll get, uh, which should give you a better chance once you get to the NCAA tournament. Or even now, the net ranking is a very key component um, that if you don't make the NCAA tournament for making the NIT, which we were in last year and had a great experience with. So we want to continue to, to bolster that. Our non-conference schedule this year, a lot of people don't realize that we had the 20th strength of schedule, the, the 20th most difficult strength of schedule uh, in the non-conference in those 13 games. Uh, you know, finishing that 9-4, and four, that really helps your net as you get into the 18 OVC games. Preston, your team at, in the top of multiple multiple statistical columns in, in the NCAA. Yeah, so you know, right now we're um, in the field goal percentage defense. We are sixth in the nation, 25th um, in block shots and um, total rebounds. We are eighth scoring defense. We are seventh, uh, three point uh, percentage defense. We are 15th and then rebound margin, okay, which is how many you out-rebound your opponent each and every game. And that counts the offensive and the defensive side of the ball, which we're pretty good at both of them. We're third in the country as we sit here right now. And so, um, you know, those are really key components for us. And so, you know, being able to be at the top of the nation, 365 teams that are involved in these statistics um, is, is a really, you know, it's pretty special because, um, you know, you can say, what league you play in or who you're playing or whatever, those numbers are those numbers and everybody's got the same 40 minutes um, each and every game night twice a week to get to those. So we're really proud of where we rank against every team in the country in those categories. All right, Eagle Nation, we're excited for Thursday night because a nine o'clock game against SIUE here at Johnson Arena and Preston, a nationally televised game on ESPNU. Yeah, so excited about that one. So uh, the, our league does, um, you know, what they call like a wild card deal, which is a great idea. And so they, they have certain time slots, you know, allotted for January, February, and March um, that, are, that are locked in. And then we get a couple weeks out they'll choose what they feel like is the best game for the league um, to put that on there and I'm very proud to say that we have led our league in nationally televised games both in the non-conference and the conference over the last three years so exposure um, here is is certainly reflecting the success that we've had and but um, you know playing at home getting a chance to really showcase our home crowd get a nap in you know right. come here it's going to be Greek night uh, we're going to have all of our different Greek organizations uh, fraternities and sororities our community members are going to be here in droves and um, this is going to be a great game against a really good SIUE team as we wrap up I I don't want to leave before I congratulate my good friend Preston Spradlin, tying the legendary Wayne Martin on the all-time wins list here at Moorhead State. 
130 and Preston just keep climbing the ladder. Well, you know, uh, I want to stay on this one for a minute because it's pretty special to me. You know, 15 years ago, um, I got my start in college coaching at the University of Kentucky, and, and Coach Martin had everything to do with that, sure. and he had a lot to do with bringing me here to Moorhead State and the, and the, the tenure that I've had. And so he's a mentor, he's a friend, he's someone who's very special to me and to this university. So um, to be even mentioned in the same breath as him and, and to tie him, he was the first phone call that I made after our win against Western Illinois on my drive home. And so he's very special to me, and this one, this one means a lot to me. Wayne is wonderful. Coach Martin, thank you for everything, and congratulations Thanks. on the tie and win. Thank you so much for watching this week, and on behalf of the Eagle Head basketball coach, Preston Spradlin, I'm David Patrick. We will see you next Sunday right here on Inside Moorhead State Basketball. Inside Moorhead State Basketball was brought to you by Reno's Roadhouse, Go Wild, Go West, Go Reno's, Hinton Mills, serving farmers since 1918, The Eagle Auto Group, your hometown dealer, Fazoli's of Moorhead, Fast, Fresh Italian, First National Bank, a tradition of value and convenience, Kentucky Welding Institute, experience that's built, not bought, West Liberty Veterinary Clinic, serving the hill since 1963. Megan McCoy Real Estate Group, Central Kentucky's top producing realtor. U.S. Bank, all of us serving you. Dashboard Stereo, you're never too old, it's never too loud. Big Four Lumber, Ace Hardware, The Helpful Place, Wendy's of Moorhead, Fresh, Never Frozen. Eagle Finance, loans made easy, payments made affordable. Joshua Trent Custom Designs, looking to build? Let us design your house plans. The Citizens Bank, the home of totally free checking. The Jack Rowe Insurance Agency and Auto Owners Insurance. Insurance the right way, the human way. St. Clair Healthcare, amazing medicine close to home. Commercial Bank of West Liberty, a source of strength for over 100 years. Giovanni's of Moorhead, order online at giovannispizzapower.com. Total Care Pharmacy, dispensing care one patient at a time. Commonwealth Chiropractic, treating everyone like family. And by Standifer Builders Paving and Sealing, quality work at affordable prices. That's how we roll.